This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. In the meantime, looking for something fun the whole family can enjoy while learning something new at the same time? Well, Truman State University's Stargazers may have the thing for you, and let's just say it is out of this world. We have Will Melvin here this morning. He is the president of Stargazers, and he's going to tell us more about the group and about the observatory on campus. So how are you doing this morning? Good. Yeah, Just, it's pretty early, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. So first off, tell us a little bit more about the astronomy program at Truman State University. Okay, well, um, it's fairly small. Mm -hmm. uh, just this semester, they got the astronomy minor. Okay. So for people interest, students interested in getting astronomy minor, they just have to take some introductory courses in physics and then two astronomy courses. Okay. And Oh, okay. Go, go oh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. So well, tell us more about Stargazers. How long mm -hmm. have they been around on campus? Uh, they've been around for about seven years. Okay. Um, they're, uh, we're trying to, always trying to get new members mm -hmm. involved. Um, okay. And some of the events that we try to do, our biggest event would be the observatory open houses mm -hmm. out at the observatory. Okay. So we actually have some video that we're showing right now of the observatory. I went on Friday night right before uh, the open house, and um, I... I'm, I was impressed, to be honest with you. I never knew that there was an observatory here in Kirksville, let alone it being open to the public during these open houses. Um, it's pretty cool. So tell us, tell us more about the dome and the telescopes you guys use. Kind of just give us a feel of what it's like in, indoors. Well, it's, there's, uh, the dome has been around for about 10 or 15 years. Mm -hmm. The telescope's a 14-inch Mead LX200 mm -hmm. GPS. It's... Uh, entirely remote operated so there's no hand moving mm -hmm. and then uh, there's also a warm room connected to it so that you know when it's cold you can go in and warm mm -hmm. up and it's used for our open houses as well as for astronomy research. Okay and you also have some telescopes that you uh, bring out um, out in the outdoors as well so yes. you're not just because I know that inside the observatory it's kind of small so uh, not that many people can be in there at the same time but you also how many uh, telescopes do you set up uh, on the outside? Well, we usually typically set up two eight inch reflectors and then we use the big telescope upstairs more, more for looking at deep sky objects. Okay. And so, kind of walk us through the open house. Is it free for the public to attend? Yes, it is. Okay. And so, when we go there, if we're not really uh, familiar with astronomy or the galaxies or the stars or anything, will you walk us through us through it and show us like what we're looking at, or will you kind of just talk about that experience? Yeah, we uh, will typically have people outside showing, you know, mm -hmm. the public constellations, and then we'll have. The scope's pointed at different objects in the sky, and we'll talk about those objects. Okay. And what are these upcoming open houses that you have coming up? Uh, the next open house is Monday, November 17th from 6 to 8, and then the second open house is on Tuesday, December 9th from 6 to 8 as well. Okay, and of course, if weather permitting, sometimes you do have to cancel. Yes, yes. So uh, what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up information with the Stargazers website as well as directions to get to the Truman Observatory because once it starts getting a little dark out there, it's kind of hard to find because I had yeah. to, I had to yeah. get some help. But I was able to find it once I got there. And again, I was really impressed. I really enjoyed it. And again, it's free and it's something fun to do, especially when it's starting to get cold outside and you get to learn about all the stars and stuff. So we'll Thank you so much for coming yep. on. Again, we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, and we'll be right back.